guys, so it's a beautiful spring day today. I'm actually on break for spring break. And I realized I should probably film a new video. So I'm going to be showing you guys my April favorite. I hope you guys are having a great week if you're on spring break. And um, are having a lot of fun and relaxing. So I'm going to start off with beauty, which is my favorite uh, section. So for face, I've been loving my Dior um, Nude BB Cream. It's amazing. I really recommend this, guys. It gives you just the perfect amount of coverage. Um, not too light, not too heavy. Perfect for the coming months of summer and spring if you're going to be traveling um, to a hot uh, place for a hot climate. And I'm in the color too, if you guys didn't know. This has been my favorite. This is like the only thing I've been wearing on my skin, so I definitely recommend that. I have two blushes that I've been loving for April. Um, the first one, actually they're both drugstore. This one is um, by Maybelline, and this is actually um, limited edition. I'm sorry, but I have lo I love it. It's uh, in 205 Wild Blossom. I actually saw this on one of Melp's videos, and she said it was limited edition, but I saw it, and I loved it. So I just purchased it off of Amazon, and, you know, it's it looks a little dirty, the packaging. Can you see? I don't know. But it wasn't used or anything. I just, I've dirtied it up. It's a really pretty purple orchid color with really 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 pretty shimmer it's really smooth look at that that's so pretty i'll swatch it on my hand you can actually just wear this as a highlight as well but i just i absolutely love it it stays really long it just looks really good on my skin tone and i'm sure it looks great on a lot of other skin tones like i could see this going really good with some tan skin even really fair skin but I just really love this. Um, it's from Maybelline. Like I said, it's in Wild Blossom. This one is really popular on YouTube. It's uh, by Wet n Wild, and it's in the color 831E Pearlescent Pink. Now this, I absolutely love it. I don't know what took me so long to actually purchase this. But it's a really, 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 really pretty bright pinky peach color. I swatched it right here for you. I'll swatch it again. I've just been wearing this like crazy. It's a really pretty blush. You can just swipe it on your, your cheeks and go. Really easy color to wear. Um, like I said, it would be great for all skin tones, but this has been a favorite of mine. And one other one that I've been loving is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in Stereo Rose. Now, I know this was limited edition, but they actually bring it back for another one of their recent collections. So if you can get your hands on this, it might still be on the website. I'm not really sure. Pick it up. It's so freaking pretty. I am in love with this. I don't know if I talked about this in one of my hauls, but it's like a really pretty champagne-y, pinky, kind of like rose gold uh, highlight color, but I uh, wear this as a blush all the time. It's right up here. It's really, really pretty. It looks great all over the, the cheeks. It gives you really pretty glow. Per for, perfect for summer, and I just wear this on its own most of the time as a highlight and a blush combined, but it's just so gorgeous. Honestly, it's one of my favorite highlights by far. For lipstick, I've only had one favorite. This is uh, the Too Faced. I've showed this before. Too Faced Naughty Nude. Oh, that's really dark. I don't know. I've just been gravitating towards this for the recent uh, month. It's a really pretty, so creamy, nudie blush color. Just kind of like an everyday shade it goes on really pigmented as you can see and it's super super moisturizing and what I really love is the smell of this it smells like um a creamsicle it's so good I already like dented it out crazy but I absolutely love it I definitely recommend it if you guys haven't tried the Too Faced uh, lipsticks definitely give them a try I don't I don't hear a lot of people talk about them on YouTube but this is the only one I have and I love it I have the Buxom I actually don't even know the name of this it's in the color blackest black. I got this a week or two ago. Two weeks ago. My friend, hi Savannah, actually recommended this to me and she said it was great. I actually really, really love it. The wand is just a standard um, rubber bristle wand and it does kind of, uh, it's kind of flexible which is great and it is pretty large but I really like this mascara. Um, it's actually one of the few, uh, the rare mascaras that you can put on probably about like four coats and you will not see a clump. Um, I, I will say that it does kind of take long for me to build it up, but I mean, there's no clumping, no flaking, it's really pretty. I have it on today. It just really elongates your lashes and gives it that volume. This is an amazing product. You guys should so try this. It's my MAC, 
And it's one of their paint pots. I don't hear a lot about this color. Some people talk about it, but it's in the color uh, Rubenesque. If you're uh, the kind of person that loves a neutral lid or a champagne-y rose gold kind of lid, like on an everyday basis, you will love this paint pot. It's just a really pretty golden peach uh, paint pot. And I mean, I like to wear, use this for a, use a brush to put this on because I feel like you get a little bit more coverage from it where you can just wear this on, an, on its own and it'll look really pretty. So creamy. And that is the swatch of it. It's so beautiful. Swatch that on my... Can you see it? Right there. And that's really pigmented. And you can wear this on its own and it'll look gorgeous. It'll just give you like that nice, really pretty bronzy gold um, kind of look. Or you can wear it under your shadow. I mean, this will look great. What, what, what comes to mind with this is um, the Naked 3 palette. I feel like a lot of those shadows on top of this will look amazing because it is kind of like a, a pinky... Uh, rose gold kind of um, palette but I absolutely love this I've been just wearing this on its own for like the past few weeks and um, I think it's gonna be really great for summer and when I'm traveling if I just don't want to bring a huge palette with me this just on its own is really pretty. I talked about this in my what is it my birthday haul I think um, this is the glam glow youth mud exfoliant treatment and I really like this one um, this is twenty dollars. It's like just a small size. I'm actually almost done with it. But what I've been doing with this is, if I have a breakout, because I've had a few breakouts like around my uh, my cheek or mouth area recently, and what I do is I put instead of putting this all over my face, I put it on the uh, blemish itself for about twenty to thirty minutes. Just let it sit there, dry up, and then when you wash it off, the size of the blemish goes down a lot, and also the redness as well. It just kind of dries that that blemish out and um like slows down the swelling or inflammation so I really like I've it. also for food I've been loving these Kashi granola bars they're the dark chocolate coconut layer granola bars this is actually a new box they're so freaking good I love Kashi granola bars they're probably like my favorite favorite brand but this one just is the chewy one I love the chewy granola bars it has like this layer of chocolate on the front and also some coconut pieces I honestly don't really like coconut but you can't even really taste it that it makes a difference and it's really great with some nuts on it as well so I really like these granola bars you guys should try books them. I've been getting back into reading um last book I read was probably like Fault in Our Stars which is like a month ago but I was reading Clockwork Orange and I kind of just like put it to the side for a little bit because I wasn't getting into it but I found a book my mom actually recommended it to me and it is called While Beauty Slept, and it's by Elizabeth Blackwell, and I just finished this book this month, and it's a pretty, I, when I find a book that I love, I can read through this fast, like I could, I read this in probably a, a week's time, maybe a week and a half time, depending on how long I sit down and read it for in the time, but I really recommend this book, you guys. If you guys like fairy tales or any type of that whimsical magic stuff like Harry Potter or just anything like that, or like even like, um, I know these are kind of like babyish, but series of unfortunate events, anything like that, you guys will love this book, um, it's definitely more mature, don't get me wrong, it's, you know, a young adult, adult book, and basically what it is, it's just a retelling of, uh, Sleeping Beauty, but it's totally different, it's totally, um, creative and imaginative, and I just love the story, I wish the real Sleeping Beauty story was this the story in this book. It's just a really great book. I absolutely love it. And if you guys are looking for something to read and you can get your hands on this at the library or at the bookstore, pick it up. Give it a chance. It's not your typical book that you see a lot of people reading, but I really love it. It's just a, a different take on a, a classic fairy tale. And I, I'm, I love Sleeping Beauty, so that's why my mom recommended it to me. One new show that I've been loving, and it's kind of funny um but if you guys seen it, it's on netflix it's called bob's burgers and it's just a cartoon uh, animation show basically it reminds me of like family guy but not as like um crude or like inappropriate as family guy kind of like a mix of that and like adventure time into one but it's really funny the main character tina is hilarious i think she's so awkward but it's so funny to see her in the show but if you guys have a chance just to look at it if you want if you want to have a good laugh or you just want to watch something new. It's on Netflix, so if you have Netflix, you could get right on in and watch it, but 
I love that show. It's really funny. Movies, uh, I, I just live on Netflix, so all my, all the shows and movies I watch are on Netflix. Um, Heavenly Creatures, it's an old movie with Kate Winslet. It's really, really interesting. I absolutely love that movie. The story is great. Um, if you guys are wanting to watch it, go right ahead. Some people don't like watching older movies, but I love Kate Winslet. And it was even before she was in Titanic, so it's really great. I love that movie. Um, so Heavenly Creatures, I love this month. I've also watched uh, Riding in Cars with Boys with June Barrymore, which is really funny and interesting story. Actually, a true story, so it's about a teen mom and a what she goes through, but I absolutely love that movie, too. Life is Beautiful is a foreign film, um, Italian, about a Jewish waiter who has to go into a concentration camp with his family. I am specifically intrigued by the Holocaust and all those movies, and I just, I can't believe, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it's just really, for some reason, I really love learning about it and uh, hearing their stories. It's just a really tragic thing that happened in history, and I don't know, I'm just really intrigued by it, but I, the movie is great, it's a really great movie, it's funny too, it's, it's weird, it combines like funniness to like serious uh, topic or event, so it's really interesting. I think that's it for my April favorite, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you're having a great month and a great week off if you're watching this, I don't know, I kind of, I'm kind of filming this in the beginning, well not the beginning, but the middle of the month, because I already have these favorites and I've been loving them, so I know I'm going to love them even more throughout the rest of the month. But um, that's it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and share your April favorites with me down below if you'd like. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, please, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!